He is known for being a pioneer of antiseptic surgery and preventative medicine. He is recognized for revolutionizing the craft of surgery and reducing postoperative infections. His name is Joseph Lister. In the realm of medical science, one name stands out as a pioneer and trailblazer, Joseph Lister, 1st Baron Lister. Born in Britain, Lister revolutionized the field of surgery with his groundbreaking work in antiseptic surgery and preventative medicine. While he may not have been an exceptional surgeon in terms of technical skill, his research into bacteriology and infection brought about a new era in surgical practices worldwide. Lister's contributions to physiology, pathology, and surgery were numerous. He championed the principle of antiseptic surgical care, introducing the use of phenol to sterilize surgical instruments, patient's skin, sutures, the surgeon's hands, and even the surgical ward. His research also delved into the role of inflammation and tissue perfusion in wound healing, advancing diagnostic science through microscopic analysis of specimens. Additionally, Lister devised strategies to increase the chances of survival after surgery, prioritizing patient safety and well-being. However, perhaps Lister's most significant contribution was his recognition of the key principle underlying the transformation in surgical practices. Drawing from Louis Pasteur's germ theory of fermentation, Lister linked it to the origin of putrefaction in wounds, paving the way for a deeper understanding of infection prevention. His work led to a remarkable reduction in post-operative infections, making surgery safer and solidifying his legacy as the father of modern surgery. Joseph Lister's unwavering dedication to scientific principles and his profound impact on the field of medicine continue to inspire generations of medical professionals, highlighting the immense power of scientific inquiry in shaping the course of human history. In the early stages of his career, Joseph Lister faced widespread criticism for his revolutionary ideas about infection transmission and the use of antiseptics. One of the first surgeons to challenge the prevailing belief in airborne microorganisms was John Hughes Bennett, a professor of medicine in Edinburgh. In a lecture for the Edinburgh Medical Journal in January 1868, Bennett presented an alternate theory known as the atmospheric germ theory, aligning himself with Felix Archimede Pouchet's belief in spontaneous generation of life. However, Bennett's experiments were flawed, as he failed to properly sterilize his equipment. In response to Bennett's theory, Lister delivered a lecture on germ theory in November 1868, where he refuted Bennett's claims and provided insights into the origin of germs. Despite his efforts, Lister's ideas faced ridicule at the 1869 meetings of the British Association in Leeds. The medical journal, The Lancet, even issued a warning to the entire medical profession in 1873, cautioning against Lister's progressive ideas. However, Lister did have some supporters, including Marcus Beck, a consultant surgeon at University College Hospital, who not only practiced Lister's antiseptic technique but also included it in the next edition of a prominent surgical textbook of the time. Lister's use of carbolic acid as an antiseptic presented challenges, leading him to eventually abandon it in favor of more effective methods. The spray of carbolic acid caused irritation to the eyes and respiratory tracts, while the soaked bandages were suspected of causing tissue damage. These issues, along with Lister's difficulty in expressing himself clearly in writing, contributed to the slow adoption of his teachings and methods. Critics often found his ideas complicated, disorganized, and impractical. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.